Jim, to start with, your assessment of how the trip to the Netherlands went? Well, I thought it went uh, you know, reasonably well. We were very satisfied, especially with the players' attitude and commitment to the, the games and the training. You know, First and foremost, that's the reason we went there. And uh, the players worked exceptionally hard. You know, <coughs> Some days we, we had as many as five sessions, which was very demanding for them. But uh, you know, there was no uh, sign of any resistance towards that. They were very focused on on doing the work required and uh, I thought their performances in the game was of a very high standard so you know in terms of the trip it went it went very well for ourselves and uh, and you know as I've said step by step we hope to, to continue to move forward. You've got four games in I think five days now that's, that's a very stiff ask for the players isn't it particularly the, the squad that hasn't got a great deal of depth. Yeah obviously um, prior to you know, organising these fixtures, we we definitely hoped that we'd have um, you know new signings within the building, but we don't, and we just have to deal with that. You know, I've got several trials just now. You know, there's another couple that uh, we hope will be joining us to to help uh, you know get us through the next couple of games and hopefully impress. So you know, we, we will probably have three or four trials over the, the course of these four games. Um, it gives us a good opportunity to assess them and, um, and obviously build towards our, our first game of the season. What can you actually do with it if, if a trial, the striker seems to be on your shopping list, if you can say that? What, how far can you go, not, you know, not having, this, well, having this transfer embargo, how far can you go along the line? Well, we can go as far as to, to agree in principle a contract with the player, but you know, ultimately you, you, you have to do that in good faith and you have to hope that the, the player trusts you. But, you know, we're, we're very much aware that if players have other opportunities out there that we can't stand in the way. That, that's just how it is. And then we have to find another player. You know, that's football and I don't get overly concerned. I only get concerned over things that I can control and I can't control that. And ultimately, if we lose a player, we have to find another player. That, that is what we have to do. And uh, it's not the ideal circumstances. Nobody's painting that picture. But, you know, as I keep saying, I'm not a manager that gets concerned about these things. I, I always look for the solutions. Obviously, it's, it's out of your control. But the, the fact that the um, creditors' meeting was adjourned yesterday, yeah. that must be, must be frustrating for you. Of course, because, you know, ultimately, in life in general, you know, you can deal with, uh, you know, yeses, you can deal with noes, but the, the, the uncertainty at all times is the hardest thing to be able to manage because you don't know. Um, so it's not an ideal situation, but we, we must continue. We must continue looking for the solutions. We must continue to keep setting the standards within the football department. We must continue to demand standards from our players on a daily basis and, and create a unity and a spirit that will hopefully get us through this, this difficult period. In terms of selection, how will you, how will you go about selecting the sides for these four friends? Well, over the course of the, 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 the Tuesday, Wednesday games, we will definitely mix the, the, the group up, um, you know, with, with certain players playing tonight and obviously certain players playing at Fleetwood tomorrow. Then probably the weekend, the Saturday fixture will look more towards the uh, the starting lineup. But again, you know we will we'll certainly field a good team on the Friday night. Um, so you, you know that's that's kind of how things are shaping up. But uh, you know obviously circumstances dictate that as well. You know we 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 hope that we can get through the next couple of games without um, any injuries, and that will allow us to, to have a clear idea moving forward towards uh, the Crawley game but uh, you know there's, there's certainly plenty of things can uh, change over the, the course of the next um, 10 to 14 days but uh, we, we have to focus just now on, on what we have and, and how we start the game at Crawley. Are you expecting a different type of workout in the, these next two games than you have in, in the Netherlands? Yeah you know the one thing about playing Dutch opposition is that um, they pass the ball no doubt about it, and they're, they're very, you know, very efficient in possession of the ball. They test you, they test your shape, your, 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 your pressing game, your space between the lines. They really work you hard, and you know, there's please, pleasing factor for me as we've worked hard on how we, we, we get the ball back and how we shape the team and how we defend as a unit. And I thought that the players put that into great effect. 
I think if you look at the, the second half of a couple of the games, we had a back four with a 19-year-old. In fact, two 19-year-olds, a 21-year-old and a 17-year-old. You know, and they, they coped with top-flight opposition, but that's the strength of the, 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 the group and the strength of the, the unity. You know, I think if you can be organised, you can trust how you play, then you've got a chance. The, the players that, that you make clear aren't part of your plans for yeah. the next season. Is that hard and fast, or is it because of it now that you, you've still got this transfer embargo? Might it be that you might need to call on them to leave? No, you know, I, I made that clear that that decision was made. Um, and um, obviously, the, the unfortunate position we're in, uh, we don't have a big squad, but, you know, I think that. Uh, you know, I'll see through what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I've said I, I need to make change, and unfortunately, I've had to do what I've had to do. It's not what I particularly enjoy doing, but you know, longer term, hopefully, the club will benefit from that. Are they, are they sort of allowed to use the facilities here? Or is that, is that no, they've been training away from the facilities, you know, but they they have all been receiving, uh, you know, the, the the right degree of coaching. We have coaches, we have physiotherapists, we have sports scientists all working with them at this moment in time. So there's certainly not been a, a, a lack of resource for these players. Um, you know, they're just not training just now at the facility and not training with the first team.